Hey guys, so this is Manish from CRM Boy and in this video I'm going to tell you how to design the product loop item with pure CSS and HTML. So let's get into the video and learn how. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm gonna type the HTML page structure and then start writing the overall HTML structure for the product loop item. So here we go. I'm commenting the product loop item area. So let's give it a dual class product. And then another dual tag with the class product image sorry product as img and there i will implement the product image that we have to display so another two that will include the product information and the third one is the product buttons the buttons that will include add to card and others so let's add the image Alt title so let's add the product title here now I am adding the product price so this price will include the base price and the discounted price. Inside the due tag with class price, I'm, going, I'm adding the base price and then the discounted price within span tag with the class base and the class discount. So let's start adding. So before before I add the buttons, I'm going to add the font awesome library so that I can import the font awesome icons here in this page. So here I add it. Now I'm adding the add to cart button, the wishlist button, and the compare pop-up button as well. So here I'm adding the add to cart button with the A tag and then the icon for the add to cart button so i copied the tags to speed up the work and now i'm removing the icons and then adding the correct icons so here is the wishlist icon Here is the search icon which represents the compare icon. So you can see the icons have been added and now we will have to start with a meta tag. I'm actually adding a meta info div tag with the class meta. So here I'm going to display the category of the product. So here we go. Now it's time to add the style sheet. So I'm commenting the style sheet area. So 
So first of all, I added the body styling to change the background color and do some padding. And now I'm adding the CSS for the product tag, well, product class to represent the background color and padding width and everything. So I have added the width for the product block, uh, product class because uh, currently I'm not using any bootstrap library. So if you're using a bootstrap library, then you can remove the width. So here I give the background color. Assigning some padding. Now I am uh, writing down the CSS for the product image block. So in this product image tag, I am uh, assigning the CSS to style the product image. So I have changed the body color to make the product block color a bit visible and you can also see the comment for removing the padding but this padding can be adjusted when you implement the CSS and the HTML code on your uh, actual page because I am currently just demonstrating it but in your production use you can adjust the padding as per your requirement okay I'm now designing the beta category in elements so that uh, I can put it on the top of the product image so let's design its background color and the shape. So I'm gonna give it a red color, not exactly red, but a little bit lighter. And I'm gonna make it spotter 30 perks, 30 pixel radius, padding, border radius 30 pixel. So I am currently changing the styling for the title so just keep an eye on the screen and you will learn what I am exactly doing here. Change the color for the title and now going to work on the price area.
So I'm overlining the base price which is actually not applicable and giving it uh, almost gray color so that people can understand that this price is not applicable. So here is the CSS style for the base color or oh, base product price. Now I am writing down the CSS style for the discounted price which is going to be the active pr price for the product. So I gave it a different reddish color so that it can stand out. And let's start for the buttons. So here we go. So I'm going to display all these uh, three buttons in one line using inline block CSS styling. So these buttons will only display the icons, the font awesome icons. So just keep an eye and let's see how it actually looks like. So you can see that the icons are now displayed in one line. styling the icons shape so giving it a circular view with the border color and the icon color styling so the border is two pixel black and the radius Added pixel which is actually 30 pixel now let's center the icons vertically and horizontally So let's give some hover effect for these buttons so that the buttons can look pretty. So I'm going to give the red background color and then the color should be white and the border should be the same background color with two pixels on it. Okay so it looks nice for now and let's add some transition effect. Okay, it looks as well now. Let's make some amendments. So one pixel is not pretty good. So I'm gonna give the dashed or dotted color. So let's make the da dotted and then, okay, it looks nice now. Let's center the buttons. 
so that uh, these buttons can look nicer. Okay, so buttons are centered. We also need to center the title and the price as well. Here we go. So now the overall look of this product loop item looks nice and I hope you like it. So if you like it, then just like the video and share it.